What are you hearing about this release? Well, it's a long and complicated story, and it involves another American, a man called Matthew Schreer. Now, he was the cellmate of Peter Curtis for quite some time. I interviewed Matt Schreer last year about his experiences. Now, let me tell you a bit more we know about Peter Curtis. Uh, Matt escaped at some point uh, during the last year, but he described where he and Peter were held for some time. Now, as far as Matthew Shreer, the cellmate, believes they were held by a group called Jabhat al-Nusra. Uh, now, Nusra are prescribed as an affiliate of al-Qaeda, considered a terrorist organization by the United States, but uh, not as extreme in many ways as ISIS, the group behind the murder of American journalist uh, James Foley. They were held together, it seems, in the same room for much of the time, and that was thought to be in Aleppo, the main city in northern Syria, the largest commercial hub uh, of what used to be the Syrian economy. Now, the complication arose in that they hatched a plan to escape. Uh, Matthew and Peter executed it one night, but Matt described to me in the interview he gave the horrifying moment when it appeared he had managed to get out, uh, using Peter to push himself out of that window. He'd managed to get freedom. He tried to pull Peter out but Peter got stuck in the window, and Matt described the agonizing moment where he knew he simply had to run or it would be both of them left behind rather uh, than just Peter. And now, of course, the news that Peter is in fact free. We don't know the precise circumstances, who he was holding him uh, in the months before his release, what happened to him after the escape of Matt Schreer. We don't know those details, but we do know from what Evan is saying that American law enforcement is now satisfied he is a free man. We don't know which Syrian border he crossed or precisely how this moment came around, but certainly there will be another American family uh, extraordinarily relieved um, tonight. It is amazing. We know that James Foley was a journalist. Do you know, Nick, if uh, this Peter Curtis was a journalist or just a resident in the Syria area? Well, as far as I understand, uh, he was there. The purpose seemed to have been journalism. Now, if you look around, there isn't a massive track record of uh, Peter Curtis appearing in many different publications. So I have to bear in mind, too, there are a lot of freelancers who operate in uh, the Turkish northern mm -hmm. Syria area or were doing back in the time of October 2012 when he first went missing. We don't precisely know where he was abducted. Uh, there are suggestions, perhaps, that it may have been closer to the Turkish side of the border. Uh, it's complicated. The details have been kept out of the public domain for so long to facilitate these kind of kidnap negotiations because obviously when you know, you're trying to delicately arrange the freedom of someone held hostage, the last thing you need is a tick-by-tick -tick commentary from the media about exactly how that's all going. So tonight though, he does appear that he is a free man and that of course will be a huge relief for his loved ones and I think also too for Matthew Schreer uh, who very long lengthy period of time had to deal with the choice he made of leaving um, leaving uh, Peter Curtis in that cell uh, unavoidable situation we are we are happy to hear that American Peter Curtis has been released by the Islamic rebels who were holding him hostage in Syria as we work to gather more information about the details of his release and exactly who was holding him we appreciate your reporting as we learn a little bit more from who was his cellmate at uh, one time while he was being held in Syria.